St. Lucia played host for the first time to Relay for Life, an annual event hosted by the American Cancer Society. According to the American Cancer Society, Relay for Life is more than just a fundraising walk. Relay for Life brings together passionate supporters who embody the American Cancer Society's vision to end cancer as we know it for everyone. The activity is a volunteer-led activity which unites communities to celebrate cancer survivors, remember loved ones lost to cancer, and raise funds to improve the lives of people with cancer and their families. President of the St. Lucia Cancer Society, Dr. Tamara Remy, says that St. Lucia is the third country to host the activity within the region. So the event really is a bringing together of teams, sponsors, especially survivors, so that we do what cancer requires, which is to educate, create the awareness, get everybody advocating for what needs to be done for cancer, understanding what cancer is, but in the most, for the best part of it, it is showing that cancer does not sleep, and as we run this relay, neither are we going to sleep. Whilst the American Cancer Society event is a 24-hour relay that requires a participant from each team on the track throughout the event, the St. Lucia Cancer Society launched the inaugural event as a six-hour relay. Participation in the St. Lucia leg of the event was fruitful, with a wide range of local companies showing both physical and financial support. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs also lent their support as the governmental agency tasked with raising cancer awareness year-round. Given the impact that we know um, cancer has had on our small society, the importance of prevention with early lifestyles, um, healthy eating, exercise, enough sleep and avoiding toxic habits, and the importance of screening. So we're taking the opportunity to also educate the population on what they need to do to allow them to keep to stay healthy and if anything very early detection so that we can increase the number of survivors that we get um, from cancer. Dr. Belmar stressed the importance of various organizations participating in raising the awareness of cancer, its effects and prevention. Dr. Remy says the work of the society does not stop in February. This has occupied most of our time for the last three months. We will, I can tell you, every month try to bring the recognition to the cancer that is being, you know, recognized every month. In June, we will have our Survivors Month. So the same way we, we recognize and celebrate them here at Relay for Life on World Cancer Day. In June, we normally have a month full of activities for them. Everybody knows October. October is Breast Cancer Awareness. It is the biggest um, for good reason. Breast cancer is number one globally in terms of female cancers. Um, we have to do something to prevent that because St. Lucia is no different. Um, and you know, we don't pay too much attention to the males. So between September and maybe November, we'll choose which month. Um, certainly paying attention to prostate cancer and men's health. The day's activities included performances, a lantern ceremony, fundraising booths, and fitness classes to keep persons energized as the team members took to the track. For the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I'm Sans Justin.